What's going on around the Pac-12 today? Mario Cristobal named the latest head football coach for the Oregon Ducks. Cristobal spending the last year as the co-offensive coordinator, run game coordinator, and O-line coach. Here's what he we have a responsibility. We're guaranteed 10 days. In these 10 days, we're going to have an agreement. We're all going to go to class. We're going to take care of our responsibilities. We're going to get the best grades we possibly can get. And uh, we're going to play the best brand of football by doing what? We're going to set the identity. We're going to solidify it in the bowl game, OK, as a university, as a program of what is to come by being relentless, by being physical, by being explosive. Uh, we're going to add on top of that, and we're going to send a message across the entire country as to what Oregon football is to be going forward and only getting better. And we were going to make sure that we we're also going to send out the seniors the right way so that they continue to build upon their legacy and that we have a little bit of fun along the way. More football news coming up Saturday. Yogi Roth is in New York to cover the Heisman Trophy ceremony. Bryce Love from Stanford, a finalist. And you can catch Yogi's insider coverage this Saturday on an all-new episode of Final Score. He'll join Mike Yam, Eldridge Rickasner, and Casey Jacobson. That's right after the Oregon State basketball game around 9 p.m. Pacific, 10 Mountain Time, only on Pac-12 Network. Let's go back to the court. Bobby Hurley and his number 16 Sun Devils taking on St. John tonight at Staples Center in the Basketball Hall of Fame Classic. We pick it up in the second half. Devils up four. Vitali Scheibel getting the board and getting the layup off that missed three-pointer. He had 11 points, four for six from the floor. In the game, a little bit later, same score. Some nice ball movement from the Sun Devils. They did that all night. Ramella White with the hook shot. ASU up eight. And later on, St. John's trying to keep this one close. Justin Simon laying it in. It's a three-point game, but ASU able to close this thing out. They're up two. White makes it up four, and they would go on to win by eight points. White had 22 of them in the game. Also in action tonight, Colorado State and Dana Altman's Oregon Ducks. Oregon looking to bounce back after that heartbreaker to Boise State last week. First half, they're up three. Paul White from beyond the arc, he draws the foul as well. Would go on to make the free throw, and the Ducks go up seven. On to the second half, they're up 16. Elijah Brown finds Peyton Pritchard, who drains a tray, and it's a 19-point lead for the Ducks. They did not have a hard time pulling away. In this one, up 32 points. Kenny Wooten for the two-hand jam. The Ducks go on to win it by 30. Let's go to the pitch. That's where Jeremy Gunn and Stanford took on Akron for all the marbles to reach the College Cup final. 26 minute of a scoreless game until Foster Langsdorf diving and heading it in to the back of the net. Wow, that's one you're going to want to see a few more times, I think. A 1 0 lead for the card. 61st minute, the Zips trying to equalize this thing. Nico Devera with the chance, but it's no good. Nico Cordy making the stop, and Stanford retains the 1 0 lead. 79th minute, same score. Sam Warner, top far post. Stanford up 2-0, and that would hold. Stanford will go on to the College Cup Final for the third straight season. It's also volleyball postseason. USC hoping to make the Elite Eight when they took on Minnesota earlier today. First set, Trojans looking sharp up three. Daniel Geiger there for the big block, and USC would go on to win that first frame. Geiger had five blocks in the match. Second set, Trojans up a point. Kalia Lanier Woo, had some hops on that one. USC would go up two sets to none. On to the third match point for the Trojans. Brittany Abercrombie getting it done. USC sweeps it, wins it, and will advance to the Elite Eight to face number two Florida. Their sixth time doing so in the last eight seasons. A lot of good stuff in the Pac-12. That'll do it for us tonight. Thanks for watching the Sports Report Update.